This is the Nikon Coolpix 990, released January 2000. So why are we shooting with these old digital cameras? You see, cameras these days are all amazing. We can shoot high megapixel raw files with tons of dynamic range, use editors like Lightroom and Capture One with endless amounts of tools, choices, and presets. We can really make images look however we want. But I want to see how these colors look straight out of camera. I want to shoot the way the company's intended and see after all these years if the image quality has really changed much or how it compares with other cameras of today. So that brings us to the Nikon Coolpix 990. This was the third iteration of the swivel design. In 1998, Nikon released the Coolpix 900, a year later the 950, and the following year the 990 capable of 3.34 megapixel images with a small CCD sensor, a Nikkor lens with a zoom range of 38 to 115 millimeters. This was actually a really good point and shoot camera for its time. So with this being a point and shoot camera, there's not much we can do as far as affecting the color or image quality. We can add basic contrast, sharpness, white balance controls, but besides that, what you shoot is what you get. There is a cool feature called Multi-Shot 16. This allows you to hit the shutter once, it takes a sequence of images and compiles them into a grid for you. And there is a video mode. So if you want that early 2000s digital video look, sort of like a handy cam shot, then this camera does it for you. So that's the basic rundown of the Nikon Coolpix 990. We're going to go into several parts and take a deep dive with camera comparisons, accessories like fisheye lenses, and external flashes. So until then, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're getting our hands on every single camera ever made.